Good morning. Welcome again to Morning Devotions. Thank you again so much for our time together. Let's go back to that book that everybody just kind of skips over at the end of the year. You get busy with the holidays and you forget about one of the most important books of the Bible, the book of Revelation. Over in chapter 11, we'll begin reading with verse 17. We give thanks to you, Lord God Almighty, the one who is and was, because you have taken your great power and have begun to reign. Now notice what happens when God begins to reign on this earth. The nations were angry. That's fascinating. The nations are angry. They don't like it that God comes and he rules and reigns. It's amazing to me how usurpers of power always get angry when people who have true rights to power begin to step in and reign. The nations were angry and your wrath has come. The time for judging the dead and for rewarding your servants, the prophets, and your saints, and those who revere your name, both small and great, and for destroying those who destroy the earth. Now notice, when God begins to reign, four things begin to happen. Number one, God judges the dead. Number two, God rewards his servants, the prophets. Number three, God rewards his saints, both small and great. And number four, he destroys those who destroy the earth. Now there's so much to teach there about prophecy, but let me give you a practical application. I meet a lot of Christians today who say that, you know, the environment is not really a Christian subject, and then I meet other Christians who are hyper-environmentalists, and really as Christians, I wouldn't call myself a hyper-environmentalist, but I would say I believe that we are to be good stewards of the earth, good stewards of the earth that God has given us. The next generation should not have a destroyed earth. It should not be destroyed with pollution. We should be able to drink the water and breathe the air. But too often today, you'll find that people who are destructive, they don't, they're not just content in destroying other things. They literally destroy the earth. They destroy the oceans. They destroy the land. They destroy the lakes. They destroy the rivers. Mankind can be incredibly, incredibly, incredibly destructive. I want to challenge you today. Yes, when God comes back and begins to rule and reign on this earth, his reward is with him. But he also says, I'm going to bring destruction on people who destroy the earth. God wants this earth to be blessed.